students and learners in this lecture i am going to discuss orienting and developing employees this is an important topic of human resources management course under this topic i will discuss what is orientation or new employee orientation what are the things covered in an orientation program the purpose of new employee orientation ceo and hr managers roles in orientation program employee training training methods on the job and off the job methods employee development organizational development and international training and development issues orientation orientation is a program for new employees that helps them to know the their colleagues to know the physical facilities equipments to know the rules and regulations to uh, know the organizational hierarchy and culture so this orientation can be uh, done can be conducted by the supervisor of the new employees or by other staffs hr staffs or the combination of these two orientation can be formal or informal sometimes both formal and informal both usually an orientation program covers the following things such as the organization's objectives history philosophy procedures rules hrm policies and benefits and fellow employees and colleagues in purpose of orientation new employee orientation program is to make them known the organizational culture organizational culture means the way the things are done here in this organization that means the established practices of the organizations organization new employee should know what matters what behavior is accepted in the organization so organizational learning organizational culture is very important that can be communicated to new employees through this orientation program in new employee orientation program uh, senior management has uh, responsibilities to uh, make them visible in front of them now senior management here means ceo or hr manager or the line manager they must come in front of them and talk with them in this orientation program so in a, in a, in a ceo for ceo or the top management of the organization uh, he or she has to perform some roles so ceo roles are program welcoming new employees providing a vision and mission of the company introducing company culture what matters conveying that the company cares about employees and relieving some new employees anxieties and help them to feel good about their job choice students now we shall discuss the roles hr managers role in orientation program in fact hr manager performs two major roles in orient new uh, new employee orientation program such as coordinating role and participant role now let us see coordinating role and participating role participant role in detail in coordinating role hr manager instructs new employees when and where to report hr manager provides information about benefit package etc and in participant role hr manager offers its assistance for future employee needs that means career guidance training etc dear students now we shall see the difference between training and development now what is training training is a learning experience it is given in order to bring a permanent change among the uh, participants or among the employees of the organization on the other hand development is uh concerned with the personal growth of the employees dear students now we shall discuss 
different methods of training. Now training methods are divided into two types on the job training and of the job training methods. Now under on the job training, job rotation and under study assignments methods are used. And under of the job training methods, classroom lectures, films and videos, simulation exercises and vegetable trainings are uh, used. See on the job training methods in detail. Job rotation. Job rotation that means changing employees from one position to another position to have better experience and diversified skills at work. And understudy assignments that is assistant to manager or assistant to positions. This allow employees with potential to work under and be coached by successful managers. So by this way, on the uh, job training is given to the employees. These job training methods, there are number of of these job training methods, such as classroom lectures, lecture courses and seminars also benefit from today's technology and are often offered in a distance learning format. Films and videos can be shown to the employees. Simulation exercises that may this is highly used in retail stores. Artificially, retail stores are created and role playing exercises are performed by the sellers as a part of their training. Simulations include case studies, decision games, and role plays and are intended to improve the decision making capability. And vestibule training, classroom lectures plus on the job training, for example, engineering lab class. So this is these are the uh, of the job training methods. Now we shall discuss employee development. As you know that I mentioned that employee development is future oriented set of activities which are introduced in the training in the uh, training program for uh, developing the part for the personal growth of the employees and and uh, through. Uh, some programs, employee development can be done. The programs are assistant to positions, committee assignments, lecture courses and seminars, simulations, outdoor training programs, etc. Next topic is organizational development. When uh, employees are given training, then there might have some requirement to develop the organizational system to develop the technology, to develop the processes and of course for developing the people. So there are four major areas where organizational development can be uh, done. Organizational systems, then technologies, then processes and people. In organizational development, two metaphors classify the sense processes. The metaphors are the calm waters metaphor and the white water repeats metaphor. The calm waters metaphor describes unfreezing the status quo, that means the existing state of affairs, change to a new state and refreezing to ensure that the change is permanent. And in the white water repeats metaphor recognizes today's business environment which is less stable and not as predictable. Organizational development helps long term changes in the organizations. Organization. Now, there are some techniques uh, for organizational development. The techniques are survey feedback, process consultation, team building, and intergroup development. There are some special issues for international training and development. International training and training is given to mainly to the expatriate managers and their families to sustain or to work comfortably in the organization. Cross-cultural training is given uh, for the, uh, uh, in the international training and development programs. It involves learning about the cultures such as history, politics, economy, religion, social climate and 
business practices dear students we are at the last stage of our today's lecture on orienting and developing employees in this lecture we learned what is new employee orientation then what are the things usually covered in orient new employee orientation program the main purposes of orientation program ceo and hr managers role in orientation program then employee training on the job and off the job training then employee development then organizational development and the international uh, training and development issues i hope that these discussions will be helpful for you to understand the orienting and developing employee topic of human resources management course thank you